Hi everyone, uh, Ksenia Mia Brogilovsky, it's January 10th, I am recording almost every day now just to document uh, everything that uh, this community is uh, uh, throwing my way and all the efforts they are exerting at um, various performances aimed to um, re-traumatize me, uh, push me out of community, uh, potentially agitate me probably to see at what level of stress I am and whether I will harm anyone. Okay, so just a few examples. Okay, today I went um, uh, to settle or to hopefully settle my accounts with the Bank of Nova Scotia, uh, who, which canceled my accounts and asked me to transfer uh, some of the some of them out to other institutions. Uh, so I'm looking around, uh, CIBC is apparently pre-booked for the whole month, all right, so I can't meet with uh, no financial advisors, they are super busy, overly busy, all right. Uh, so Simply Financial looked like a, a viable candidate, so I set up an account with them. Uh, they've been holding my money hostage for a month now, I am at the end of... Uh, uh, like I, My accounts are being closed this week. They are not moving the uh, hold period with them. So, like, first of all, I can't go anywhere to see anyone to actually initiate the transfer, fill out the forms, etc., etc. It's all over the phone. Uh, on the phone, you have to sit and wait on hold for <clears throat> 30 to 60 minutes on average. And then they are shoving you around the call center. Uh, or whatever contact center um, from one person to another. And then maybe in a month they will uh, uh, get organized enough to actually initiate something and uh, execute something. The security, the uh, email service of them. Okay, whatever. You know what? Like, uh, it's an interesting product, a viable product, I believe. I wanted to stay with Simply Financial 100%, 100%, right? Because I don't want to be exposed and re-traumatized really to go to uh, banks and to be um, intentionally exposed to all the femininity and all the makeup and all the masquerades and all of the pleasantness in life that uh, uh, folks here are experiencing and enjoying while I've prostituted myself for 18 years now uh, to ensure that all of the employers are doing all right while their many uh, women are on maternity leaves and they're having however many children they want and they're dating however they however whoever they want okay while I'm uh, in a situation I am married to an XXY on a spectrum my health has been vandalized my mother is in like in no state to make any rational choices or decisions for herself or me given her upbringing and her background okay so, and the government of Canada, the community, the social insurance, so to speak, and all of the municipalities and all of the taxes that I paid and uh, she paid and her spouse paid, we've insured everything, we've stayed uh, uh, compliant to the letter of law, and uh, I feel like I've been used up like a thing, like an object to make sure that the local genetic treasure is being passed on, that uh, all of the local girls are dating whoever they want, they're enjoying themselves, they're having romantic this, romantic that, uh, kid one, kid two, maternity leave, uh, nine to five jobs, etc, etc. Everyone is happy, all right, while I'm being re-traumatized. So, I chose Simply Financial for the purposes of reading myself of any such unwanted experiences such as I am being very petty at this point because I was raised in uh, USSR uh, with the dancing and uh, all of the, you know, slim looking uh, tiny creatures of uh, half oriental, half Slavic uh, origin. Uh, uh, needless to say, I didn't date. Okay, so everyone knows by now I'm big, I'm tall, I'm fat, I'm like hefty, right? So there is uh, only 1% of men who may potentially be suitable for me, but that's all right. So I have to go to all those branches to witness all those and this and that and the makeups and the mat leaks and all of that to re-traumatize myself. No, I chose Simply Financial, but Simply Financial is apparently uh, keeping my money hostage. All right, 
and asking me for uh, confidential information such as social insurance number, account numbers, like for the T forms, essentially all of the T forms, so that I would send them via some uh, mail uh, service and by courier and to PO box, etc., etc. So essentially, what is happening is that I was lured into Canada under false representations, was lured, I was trafficked by virtue of my parents not knowing where they're going and what they're going and who is calling them into Canada and for what reason, okay? Not knowing whether they would be competitive here or not, but that's okay, I felt as a dependent. And here, the government of Canada, the communities, the municipalities I live in, my neighbors, all of you guys are choosing to re-traumatize me over and over and over again. So you brought me here as an object to traumatize, take advantage, uh, push me into this no-choice marriage. So the marriage was a no-choice, the residence was no-choice, the my situation currently is no-choice because I don't have any other suitable residences available in the area so that I can move. Right? I don't have an employment so that I can pay for innovation services. I don't have normal insurance quotes so that I can actually insure myself and my property. So you are keeping me hostage of circumstances that you created, you fabricated yourself, and you are choosing to exacerbate the situation so that I would go underground, uh, so to speak, uh, into your clandestine operations so that I don't re-traumatize myself with all the wasp-like figurines running around and all the young, uh, hot uh, chicks and males, you know, like uh, uh, singles inferno, so to speak, okay? Yeah, I didn't get a good fuck in my life ever, ever, all right? But, hey, that's fine, I'm gonna work 14 hours a day and make sure that all of you get recreated and uh, educated and safely transported and uh, procreated. That's okay, that's fine by me. But don't throw yourself under my wheels and don't throw yourself into my uh, sort of uh, zone and area knowing full well where I'm coming from and what I'm going through and what kind of education upbring upbringing I got. If you want to send me out, send me out. <coughs> Don't exacerbate the situation. What is this for? I'm sitting here. I can't find nothing suitable for me. Nothing, right? So I booked two appointments with the Toronto Dominion for tomorrow, January 11th, to transfer my RRSP accounts and non-registered savings from the Bank of Nova Scotia to TD. And, folks, my intention is to transfer one-to-one -one without redeeming and withdrawing anything. But, hey, it's going to be on you. If you choose to retire me, you choose to retire me. You force me into withdrawing the money and paying uh, taxes on those money. Again, you brought me here. You shoved me into a certain bubble to kind of run like a squirrel in the wheel and then produce milk and cream for your kids to go around and play in the field. It's not working for me. Like, if you can't give me a normal future, if you can't treat me fairly, then I choose to remove myself from this situation, but I can't remove, I can't even remove myself from the situation. I don't have any choices at this point. I'm sitting in this house with no choices, with community and volunteers abusing my space. And again, I will give you specific examples of what I consider extra stress and abuse of my space. If you are overly made up, Right? If you are, I don't know, just uh, intentionally driving a rental vehicle to sort of uh, uh, shortcut me or undercut me or going around doing like this, or knowing that I voted like this on the uh, Andy McDowell and her daughter's uh, latest uh, TV drama where they portray themselves in uh, poor socioeconomic environments, which is a nonsense because they are both 
uber successful and uber healthy and uh, like they shouldn't portray like they, they they even come close to understanding the situations they are playing on camera okay so like don't I see when you are intentionally throwing yourself under my wheels, when you're intentionally parking like slow poke driving in front of me, okay? When you're going around with your uh, borrowed uh, nieces and uh, nephews uh, while being 19 or 25, you know, like I see the abuse of my space. Like, you know my weaknesses. You know that I've been brought up. I didn't sleep at night because all of the bugs were crawling around from the basement full of water, okay? The, 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 the building was uh, uh, constructed in a way to barely resist the earthquakes and uh, whatever uh, poor plumbing we had in the basement, okay? That I was uh, living through the collapse of Soviets with robberies and uh, murderers and uh, uh, organized crime and all of that, that I was uh, freaking always looking behind my shoulder, okay? And that my mother went through whatever she went through, all the freaking pregnancies and idiots uh, abusing her space, and whatever she's got into her mind that she was only thinking about the next day, the next week, etc., etc. So you can imagine what kind of uh, uh, enjoyment and uh, friendship I got from the school, especially in middle and high school, where we got all of the imported students with all of the fancy clothing and monies and uh, uh, diplomat fathers and mothers. You can imagine how I felt, all right? Uh, I will not, uh, you know, again, I will repeat myself. I didn't date until I was 19 and a half. My first boyfriend was a setup that uh, only dated me for work, not for love, for work and because I was uh, employed heftily at that time. And so my former spouse, Alexander Buchengold, also uh, offered me to just leave uh, uh, sort of together as a living whatever, uh, friends, uh, nanny and uh, subject, so to speak. Okay, so that was my uh, third uh, relationship. Uh, the last one, I only had three. So the first one was a hire by someone. I don't know. Uh, the third one was what, whatever I just said. And the 90-minute consensual sex was okay in the middle. Just as a sort of uh, passing change before the next wave, so to speak. So that was it. That was it. There, I'm 38. I don't have anything. My mother is uh, barely there. Her spouse is, I don't know how professionally qualified he is to take care of her or not. All right. I am, I've been doing testing from health testing centers in Florida, testing.com, wherever, to test myself for HIV, to test myself for syphilis, to test myself for HPV and herpes, etc., 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 and autoimmune diseases, and this diseases, and that disease, and that is the, say, the state I was in when Alex got finally kicked out, out of my uh, zone, you know, not to constantly re-traumatize and uh, abuse my health and my psyche. That I had to go and seek uh, a counselor to understand where I am and what I am. That I had a mini stroke. I don't know what kind of uh, state my uh, overall health is at this moment. So, I mean, I'm surviving. I don't know if I'm getting better or not. I think I might have gotten a little bit better over the course of the past... 24 months or so, but again, I didn't get MRI, I didn't get a full checkup. My doctor left and then she said, oh, you look different, like you behave different, you're a totally different person. Of course I'm a totally different person, because you left, you just picked up and you, you prescribed me puffers and you've prescribed me BS, whatever a pharmaceutical company is prescribing and uh, uh, pushing out into the markets. Of course, no one cares about no one, all right? Of 
course, I'm a totally different person. Now that I understand, I'm a totally different person. I behave, behave so differently. Now that I understand that uh, I, I've been used as a condom by the government of Canada, of course, I'm a totally different person. For some reason, now I don't want to leave my own business because I've seen how immigrants from Uzbekistan and uh, other uh, shaky countries are leading businesses with all of their counterparts, uh, barely, barely understanding what the hell it is that they're supposed to do in that business. And the only businesses that are actually profitable and successful are the ones that are 100 years old, local monopolies, oligopolies, or the ones who, has a, who have a roof over their head uh, under the pretense of networks and not for profit organizations associations, etc., etc. I'm in no position to be successful in a business regardless of my financial, intellectual, or mental capabilities. I just don't have the resources and the networks required to pull myself out of the situation I'm being persistently shoved into. All right? So, folks, that's me. I don't have nothing. I had all the great intentions when I came here. I was more than capable, but no. No. You've chosen. You chose. You intentionally, so like the, starting from the very get go, you intentionally put me in all the ghetto jobs and in all of the Middle Eastern and Oriental uh, uh, and other culturally skewed workplaces where I could not flourish, all right? Like, what, like, what is the degree of goodwill do you expect from me right now? I am open for opportunities and jobs and employment by all means, and um, I would like to get normal living, all right? Uh, I was actually very much dreaming about nice assets and properties etc i am very materialistic i came from nowhere and uh, from nothing i am very materialistic okay yet i did want to have a child or two at 38 if i will have one that would be a miracle okay so you have all of this information, dear Bank of Nova Scotia, dear Profit, dear RCMP, Queen's University, not-for-profit organizations, all of my past employers, Government of Canada, CRA, etc., etc., uh, and the TD, who I will go to tomorrow, whatever other ill-wishers or otherwise will uh, greet me there or not. I don't know if I will be able to transfer my RRSP into RRSP or I will be forced into retirement, okay, by virtue of extending the wait period, extending the admin process, ex persistently and intentionally extending and waiting to do the checks, and uh, profiling and see where I go, how I'm behaving, etc., etc. So you waited so many years while having all the information, all of the capabilities, all of the uh, prerequisites to make a decision much sooner in my case, much sooner. You didn't. You didn't. So anyway, like what can I do right now? I can't do anything. It's a no choice hostage situation. That's what I am in right now. So that everyone knows where I am and so that everyone calls it the same thing. Okay? Uh, so that's, again, January 10th. I am trying to transfer my funds as requested by the Bank of Nova Scotia out and then to another bank. But I don't know if I will be just thrown out on the street with the retired, here's your cash, go fuck yourself type of thing, okay? So that might be the case by the uh, walker type personalities uh, that I met today at Toronto Dominion. I'm afraid to even go there and ask to transfer my RSP because I have a very... Um, strong premonition, so to speak, that 
by administrative uh, process uh, alone, I would be retired tomorrow, okay, or by end of week this week. So this is just uh, and uh, for all the uh, male imposters, a la Vincent Tucci, a la Paul Travato, a la Shahin uh, Hatami, a la uh, who else? I I can't recall at this point. Don't throw yourself my way, okay? I am in a state. I am like I am I. You go your way, I go my way. All right, so sincerely.